Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuhu. How are you all? I hope you all are fine with the grace of Almighty Allah. So welcome to Heather Tech. Okay. So let me today topic we are going to discuss. So this is the Huawei HCI routing and switching lab one. Okay. So I will show you step by step all the labs. What are the labs? These are the labs I will I will configure not in today video in all my videos so these are the labs I will configure and I will show you how you can also configure in the Huawei router so in this Huawei HCI routing switching the course you will learn about the basic router interface configuration how to configure console password banner message and all these things the basic configuration static routing configuration of the Huawei router rip version 2 rip ng ospf v3 vlans inter vlan link aggregation in Huawei switches stp rstp gre hdlc ppp with chap authentication ppp with pap authentication aaa port security dhcp dhcp relay link aggregation snmp and so on and so far so maybe i will at the end i will also give you small project so you have to just complete this uh, project so please so you need to watch all these video okay so i will show you today in this video step by step uh, and watch this video till the end if you are a new here subscribe this channel if you are already subscribed click on the bell icon to get the latest video in your notification please show your love and support by liking sharing and subscribe subscribing to this video okay so in this lab what i'm going to do this is our topology and in this topology we will take two routers okay router and in between we will connect with the serial link so this is our network address 192.168.1.0 it is slash 24 subnet mask this is our network address 1.1 i will assign to ar1 and 1.2 i will assign to ar2 so what i will do so these are the steps we will complete the following step change the host name of the router this is the first step i will do it and the configure the router interfaces yes we need to configure the router interfaces what we need to configure we need to assign the ip addresses to the interface and we on the both router interfaces and how to show the save configuration definitely if we configure something definitely the host name we configure and we configure the router interfaces so these saved configuration how we can show the saved configuration in the router and uh, at the end how you can save the configuration of your Huawei router so you have to watch this video till end and inshallah you will learn a lot okay so let's start our practical this is a totally practical oriented labs all these are the labs so I will show you all the labs no theory no discussion nothing else just practical in Huawei router so you can see this is the agenda of today and let me go to the ESN so the topology I will show you this is a topology let me design this topology from the scratch do you want to save no I don't want to save okay now first we will take the router okay these are the router so I have only one router I will take this router okay and another router here okay these are the two routers okay so after that these two router what I need to do I will take the connection okay so these are the connection auto copper serial okay so I need to take the serial cable because in between two routers we need to connect through the serial cable okay so you have serial 000 here and serial 000 here okay so so this is the the one let me organize little bit okay now this is okay so this is serial 00 this is serial 000 so both are the serial interfaces but both are down so let me start the router okay so how you can start the router just click it on this icon okay you can see start the devices or the other thing is you can right click and start right click 
and start so it's up to you so i will start from this one so i will start both together okay so and after that once you will start both devices what you need to do so you need to first you need to change the host name of your router okay so how you can change the host name of your router double click it here okay so it now the device is running it will take some little bit time and after that the things will be normal okay so you have to watch all the video till end okay because these videos are very very informative so you will get you will learn a lot regarding the Huawei routing and switching courses and all the labs I will do the practical no theory nothing else you can see this is our user view in the user view so you can write the configuration of your router okay so suppose if you want to see the configuration of your router how you can see so display uh, display so because in uh, in our uh, cisco we are writing show running config okay but here we need to uh, show you the, what is the display the current configuration is there any current configuration yeah you can write display current configuration it will show you whatever configure so in our router we can also check the interfaces so display uh, ip interface brief ip interface brief okay you can see these are the interfaces we have serial interfaces serial 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 serial interface yes we have the serial interface but we did not assign a single ip you can see the physically our protocol is up but the ip address is unassigned so first of all what i will do i will assign the ip address okay before going to assign the ip address let me change the the host name of the router okay so how we can change the host name of the router okay host name the router name okay because here you can see it is written huawei so i want to change the host name of this router okay so this is my user view i will go to the system view so just write system sys system view okay in the system view you can do the configuration like sys sys name so sys name is basically used to change the host name this command is used to change the router name router host name router name okay so after that you need to write anything like i will write header tag header header tag okay so header tag now you can see now the host name has been changed before it was uh, Huawei now it has been changed to Heather Tech okay now after that what we need to do we need to uh, assign the IP addresses to uh, the interfaces so serial interface of router 1 okay so serial interface of the router 1 here I'm going to sign okay so interface serial okay serial what is the serial interface 0 slash 0 slash 0 okay now ip address so what is the ip address here so 192.168.1.1 okay what is the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 okay so now the interface so uh, especially in our packet tracer and the cisco we are writing no shutdown yeah just to it but it is already up but the, for the precautionary measure we need to make it up you can see here it was already up but okay so how you can uh, make it up so just write undo undo shut so this is the same command you are writing a no shutdown command okay so undo shut is basically used to uh, is equivalent to the no shutdown command okay okay so same like no shutdown command so after that what we need to do so we write the ip address and we can see what is the configuration display uh, this okay so what we configure on this interface so same like the show run so but here it will just show whatever you configure on this interface you can see on this interface we just configure the ip address this is the thing so just type display this so display this it will show you the detail of this interface 
so whatever you have configured it will show you the detail of this interface okay now we have done this configuration on this router okay if you want to see display the ip interface brief i will just also show you display okay we can go to the, the other interface here i will show you display this uh, sorry display uh, ip interface brief you can see now i have assigned the ip address to this interface serial 1.1 slash 24 this is a subnet mask you can see now our configuration is config uh, we have configured the ip address to this interface and we also configure the host name of the router on this inter uh, of this router now we will go to this router and we will do the same configuration we repeat the same step on this router as well okay so uh, can you tell me so what we need to do first yes please any one of you i will give you one second write in the description below yes please what we can write yeah so we are in the system view sorry we are in the user view so we need to go to the system view so how you can go to the system view right sys view okay first of all we need to change the host name so host name we can say how we can change the host name of the router system name sys name okay so what is the sys name we want to give the name okay th this router i will give muscat okay now done this is muscat okay now after that what we need to do so we need to assign the ip address to this interface okay this is the interface we need to assign the ip address to serial 00 interface okay so how i can assign the ip address any one of you i will give you one second please write in the description the video description yes please any one of you can can you tell me how we can assign the ip address yes first we need to go to the interface the serial interface then assign the ip address so how we can go to the serial interface just this is the command interface serial just press the tab button okay you don't need to type full command just write interface serial okay so 0 slash 0 slash 0 so this is our serial interface now what is the command ip address okay ip address so what is the ip address on this 192.168.1.2 and what is the subnet mask 255 dot sorry dot 255.255.0 okay so this is the ip address okay and uh, what is the equivalent command of no shutdown any one of you can you tell me yes undo shut okay this is done so i just want to see i want to see so uh, uh, the detail uh, of this interface what i have configured so you can see ip address i have configured this is the ip address i have configured on this interface okay so let me check the ping the ping is working between these two routers or not so i will ping from this router to this router so let's see is it ping so what is the ip address 192.168.1.1 okay you can see the ping is working fine it means our configuration is correct so now that's the the most important thing is how we can show the saved configuration of the router how we can show the saved configuration of the router okay if you write show uh, sorry uh, in the nvram what is the show we, we cannot write show here just write display same like you know sometime uh, we are using a cisco as well so in the cisco we are using show running configuration okay so here we are using display the saved configuration this is your saved configuration in nvram configuration okay whatever you saved okay if you did not save anything it will show you nothing it is the nvram configuration see we did not save anything so far so if you did not save it will not show you anything but how we can see what we have configured what is our running configuration okay so what is our running configuration like mean the current configuration so the command is display current configuration sorry display 
cu double r anti current configuration okay just this is the current configuration but we need to save here so how we can save the configuration any one of you can you tell me okay in the router uh, in the cisco pack in the packet tracer we just write wr yes right okay so but here you can just simply type save okay if you write save it will ask you are you sure you want to continue you want to save on the save the configuration of this device yes and it will start saving the current configuration uh, to nvram so save the configuration successfully so mean this con configuration has been saved successfully the same step you need to go to this router and you need to follow the same so how we can save uh, the configuration any one of you tell me yes just write save yes type device sorry yes yes sorry save yes yes saving done okay so both router i have saved the configuration okay so if you want to quit and uh, now if you will type the this command okay if you want to see uh, now that the, the, the same command uh, i mean you need to show the save configuration of the router what you need to do now you can see display display your which configuration saved configuration sorry saved configuration okay now it will show you the saved configuration of this router okay so um, even if you will reboot this configuration will be saved okay so in the current configuration if the uh, the, uh, the system or the router will reboot that configuration will no longer will be available in the router okay so this is highly recommended always save the configuration before rebooting the router if you wa want to reboot if you want to quit or reboot the router so how you can reboot just simply type reboot so it yes system will reboot yes let it to reboot you can see it will reboot and it will restart again so that's all for today so keep watching my video please like and subscribe this channel thank you for watching